I highly recommend upgrading all firmware and software related to the black box or other MVAVE type devices before going down this rabbit hole. You will get better results and minimize your headaches. I will be focusing on the black box. 1. Download the M upgrade software. 2. Download the N1.0.7 update. 3. Download the latest MEFCS software. 4. Download the latest firmware for the black box. If needed, upgrade your black box to the latest firmware. In this example, I upgraded from version 13 to version 16. I used the Select Firmware and pointed to the firmware file. I then clicked Update Firmware. The black box firmware is then upgraded. The upgrade is now completed. At this point, I have updated the firmware on my black box. I then updated or put into place the latest MECFS software and I also updated the end software to version 1.0.7. The file I'm going to train from is the Tone Junkie Bad Cat Nam file. Under the N app folder, I created a folder with no spaces or special characters. I then copied the file tjbc3012ax75.nam into the folder and gave the Nam file the same name as the folder tjbc3012ax7-5. Start the SyncoN application. Once it starts, click on the Train tab. Click the far right drop-down menu and select NAM underscore to underscore M3. Next, I click on Select Train Directory. I then navigated to the directory I created under the NAP folder. I clicked on the folder TJBC3012AX7-5 once and then clicked Choose. Next, click on Select Train Directory. It is recommended by MVAVE to change the batch size to 1024. Click OK to start the training process. Before I started the training process, my CPU utilization was averaging 1%. This window pops up while the training process is running. Notice that on my PC, the process is estimating to run for 8.5 hours. Also notice that the training process is ignoring my AMD GPU and leveraging the CPU. After starting the training process, my CPU utilization went to 71%. Depending on your system resources, this process can go quickly or take a long time. Originally, the software estimated the process would take 8.5 hours, but it took just over 9 hours. While we are on the topic of CPU and GPU, I did configure Windows 11 to use the GPU in high-performance mode when running the SyncoN executable, but it had no impact on the process. I've been told that the NVIDIA GPU does much better. If you want to give it a try, go to System, Display, graphic and click Add Desktop App. Navigate to where your SyncoN.exe file is located. Click on SyncoN.exe once and then click Add. Click on the drop-down for SyncoN. Click on the drop-down for GPU Preference. Select High Performance. As I said, I tried this and it had no impact for me, but maybe you might have better luck, or can apply the setting to some other application that might benefit from it. If by chance you have any tips how to help the in-training process with an AMD GPU, please leave a comment on the video. Now let's get back to the training results. Once everything has completed, you should be back to this SyncoN app. In the directory that you pointed the training process to, you should see something like this, and most importantly you should now have an AM3 data file. I connected my black box to my PC and started the MEFCS app. 
Click on Open AMX Data File. Select and open the newly created AM3 data file. Click on Select to test the file. I'm going to go ahead and copy the file to my black box. Click on Save AMX Data Data to Device. Select what slot you want to save it to and give it a name. I selected slot 20, named the AMP 20TJ Bad Cat 12, and clicked on OK. The save was successful. I also saved a Tone Junkie IR into slot 20 under the cab section.